Hello, Rhode Island. I'm Lori Marie Pichota, Executive Director of the Mental Health Association of Rhode Island. Welcome to May is Mental Health Month 2021. The month of May is a time to highlight the importance of our mental health. It's also the perfect moment to speak from the heart and share our stories of struggle with one another so that those who struggle with mental health conditions will know that they are not alone. In thinking about last May and everything that's happened since then, it's clear we've all been on a strange and difficult journey. We've faced loss and heartache and financial hardship. Many of us are grappling with anxiety, depression, relapse, substance use. Racism has been emboldened across the country and the inherent flaws of our policing practices have been exposed by senseless tragedies. We've been disconnected from one another for over a year now, and I think we're all feeling restless and impatient to go back to normal. But despite all that, the past year was not all bad. The media covered mental health stories like it never has before, Celebrities even shared their own experiences with mental illness. Federal funding from SANSA was expanded and trickled down to Rhode Island and other states. People organized in the streets to demand justice and accountability. And I think we have renewed gratitude for the people in our lives and community. Uh, we appreciate connection and togetherness more than we ever have before. With the vaccine distribution underway, I see a light at the end of the tunnel, and I hope you do too. This year, Mental Health Association is proud to award two mental health heroes. First, we are so proud to honor Senator Sheldon Whitehouse for his continuous advocacy for Rhode Island's mental health community. Senator Whitehouse worked to ensure that the 2021 American Rescue Plan included robust funding for mental and behavioral health care in Rhode Island. In 2016, Senator Whitehouse authored the Comprehensive Addiction and Recovery Act, which established a range of policies to prevent and treat addiction. And way back in 2010, Senator Whitehouse introduced the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, which made an unprecedented investment in Rhode Island's behavioral health care infrastructure and profoundly expanded access to mental and behavioral health treatment. Thank you so much, Senator Whitehouse, for your hard work, your compassion for people with mental illness, and your courage to fight for us. We are so proud to call you our Senator. Our second Mental Health Hero Award goes to Rhode Island's frontline behavioral health care workers. Thank you all for your bravery and commitment to serving the community. Early on in the pandemic, when little was known about COVID-19, it was really scary to be in public. Yet you continue to work every day in the community, in health centers, in hospitals and private practices. You risked your lives to provide comfort, support and services to people in need during a time of uncertainty and tragedy. You undoubtedly saved lives. We will forever be in your debt. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us throughout the pandemic. Thank you also to our May is Mental Month, Health Month sponsors. We are so grateful. We could not do what we do without your support and encouragement. The Mental Health Association and our partner organizations We'll continue to fight to improve Rhode Island's mental health care system, but we need your help. Today, April 29th, is Advocacy Day. Please visit our website to learn more about Advocacy Day and our policy priorities and how to contact your elected officials. Make your voice heard. Speak up for the most vulnerable Rhode Islanders. You can see the full calendar of events on our website as well. All of our events are free and online. Um, many organizations are participating in May as Mental Health Month this year, and many of them are offering workshops, um, support groups, 
educational programming and and, and um, other kinds of events. Um, everything is free and everything is online. Just go to our website to check it out. Um, we also have a fantastic lineup of speakers following me today, so keep watching. Thank you, Senator Whitehouse, for your encouraging remarks. And a special thank you to Rhode Island's congressional delegation, Senator Jack Reed, Representative David Cicilline, Representative James Langevin, and also thank you to Bud Cicilline, President of the Mental Health Association's Board of Directors. Thank you for your service. And now we are honored and grateful to have a heartfelt statement from Barbara Morse of Channel 10 NBC News. Thank you so much, Barbara, for participating and for lending your voice to this cause. We are grateful.